One of the things that I've never covered in a Snake Bites episode is exactly what you're supposed to do when you receive your pet reptile via FedEx or UPS. What exactly is the procedure once you get that box that you should take to get the best success for your new pet reptile? So the first thing before you even think about getting a pet reptile is to make sure that you've done all your research. Go online, ask questions, do whatever you can do to learn as much about the animal that you're about to get. After that, before you actually get your pet reptile, it is important to have your setup 100% dialed in. I always say two to three days before your animal arrives, you should have your tank set up and you should have it 100% good to go. Right here you can see we just have a little setup for a Colombian rainbow. Boa. It's a relatively simple setup. We have Hertopia coconut bedding. We have a fresh water dish right here with fresh water. We have a plant just for decoration and we have a little foam hide box right here but you can use any kind of hide here and you can decorate your cage however you want to. It's really up to you as long as you keep in mind that the environment has to be exactly good for the species of snake that you're putting in there. For this particular cage we're going to go with an under tank heater as well as a basking spot. We're going to want that hot spot to be in the low 90s, 92 to 95 degrees and we're going to want the cool side of the cage to be down around 82 degrees. As long as we have that dialed in as well as the humidity above 50% we know it's perfect for a Colombian rainbow boa. Alright so next up let's say that your package finally arrives. First thing you've got to do obviously is be very gentle with this. There's a little animal inside here so you got to make sure that you treat it properly and obviously you want to just open the package up and be excited about what's inside of it. Of course we're going to see what's in here. I already know because obviously I packed this snake for this show but once we open it up we're just going to look inside. The well, first thing we want to do is inspect the way it's packaged. You know, you're going to want to make sure that the supplier that you got it from packed it right. It should have styro lining. If it's cold outside, it should have a heat pack. If it's really hot outside, it should have a cold pack. And if it's just moderately temperatured, it should at least still have the styro lining. You also want some sort of a paper that kind of has cushioning in it and then of course the snake should be held secure and whether it's a bag or a deli cup or whatever you happen to be getting it in. The first thing you want to do is make sure that there's no damage to the box or the way it's packaged because there's always a chance that during transit that the courier could actually have damaged the thing. You want to make sure you're 100% aware of that before you even open it. If there's any damage to the package we have to make sure to stay in touch with our courier whether it's FedEx or UPS because we want to make sure that they're absolutely handling our live animals as carefully as possible. So your feedback is so important to us to make sure that their service is healthy and happy for those animals. Regardless, once you get the animal in, it's really important to make sure to do a visual inspection of that animal. Keeping in mind that it's probably a little stressed out after that shipment, so make sure to handle it as gently as you possibly can. You just want to do a visual inspection of it. Make sure there's no parasites. Make sure there's no damage that might have happened during shipment and then make sure that it's completely healthy looking. No respiratory infection, no mouth rot, nothing that you would really think that might be a problem because if there's any issues whatsoever it's important whoever you bought that animal from needs to know immediately because they either need to take care of you by replacing the animal or show you how you can make sure that it gets better. We always want to make sure animals are as healthy as possible so that visual inspection is super important and it's really important to make sure that you always communicate with us because if there is a problem we don't know how to help you unless you communicate with us about that problem. Again, we ship hundreds and hundreds of packages and we hardly ever have an issue but when we do we need to hear from you and not just us but any supplier needs to hear from you so that we make sure that your experience and your animal is as healthy and as happy as possible. After that the next step is to gently place it into whatever environment that you already have made. Again 
continue keeping in mind that you want to be extra gentle with an animal and try not to handle it much while you're first getting it because you just want to get it settled in and kind of leave it alone. I know that oftentimes it's hard because you're tempted to handle a new snake. When I get a new snake, I want to do the same thing, but it's really important to make sure you get it settled in and leave it alone. Now, if you have that animal, let's say in the middle of your living room, that's where you're going to keep it. That's completely fine, but for the first few days, I suggest finding a quiet place, somewhere there, there's not a lot of traffic. Let it settle in. Remember, not only is it going to be a little bit stressed out about a completely new environment in a new home, but it's also been a little stress with that shipping. So you got to keep in mind the least amount of traffic and stress that that animal is, the better it's going to settle in to your environment. Now the next thing is a little bit difficult because I know we're all really excited when we get new animals. We want to handle them. We want to see them feed. As a matter of fact, when I get a new snake, the first thing I want to make sure is that that animal is feeding because to me as an experienced reptile guy, I know if a snake is feeding, I know it's healthy. But the problem is, is you really really don't want to offer it food for the first three to five days. You want to let it get settled in and let that stress level get down. Not only oftentimes will it not eat if it's stressed out, but also even if it does eat, it might have a little bit higher stress levels and there's a higher chance of regurgitation, which is really bad for an animal. The same goes when it comes to handling. You may want to think like, oh my God, I got this new snake. I want to mess with it. But the truth is the best thing you can do is leave it alone for three to five days in a quiet spot. Then you can offer it food once it eats, then you know, all right, we're on the right track. After that, certainly give it a day to digest that food, and then you can start handling. But remember to continue to kind of break it in slowly. You don't want to just go gangbusters right off the bat. Now, if it doesn't eat after three or five days, the first thing I would do is contact the person you get it from. Make sure you know exactly what they're feeding it so that you're offering it the same food. And if you are offering it the same food and it still refuses, don't make the mistake of feeding it every day or trying to feed it every day. The truth is you should give it two or three days in between offering. That way you don't continue to stress the animal more by offering it food. Eventually that animal is going to eat. But again, the communication with whoever you bought it from is key here because if you're having a problem, they're most likely going to be able to help you through to make sure that that animal starts feeding and is extremely healthy. You got to remember each animal is an individual. So some animals adjust very quickly. Some take a little longer, but if it's a healthy, animal, it's going to eventually do fine in your setup. Regardless, I just wanted to go over what you should do when you get a new reptile to have the highest chance of success. I hope this will help you out if you're considering adding an animal into your life. And as always guys, I'm Facebooking and tweeting my way through everything and I'll always be Facebooking advice like this as well. So make sure to follow me over at Snake Bites TV. Until next week, you've been watching Snake Bites. Amen.